Hey, I'm Coach Martinez, a PE teacher at Live Elementary in Irving ISD. This week we're working on throwing and catching. Our objective says that you guys should be able to demonstrate, that means to show, demonstrate key elements in manipulative skills such as an overhand throw and catching. Demonstrate means you need to be able to show those skills. And when you show the skills, you should be showing the key elements. That's like the main parts. When you first learn, you kind of learn step by step by step by step by step. But once you get the hang of it, you kind of put it together as one smooth movement. Still make sure you have all of those key elements. We'll look at that in just a second. Manipulative means to move or to change something. So if you're gonna manipulate something, whether it's a ball with your hands, a ball with your foot, or you're changing or moving an item or object, you're using your manipulative skills when it comes to overhand throw as well as catching. Overhand means your hand is over or on top of the ball and you're throwing. Think about sports that you use throwing in. Baseball, the hand is over and they throw. Another sport might be football. You have a football, you throw the football. There's other sports like um, something called a javelin, which is a, just a really long stick and they hold it here and they try to throw it for a track and field. And a few other sports use throwing or use um, different ways of throwing like basketball and soccer do an overhead throw. And sometimes the goalkeeper in soccer takes the ball and chunks it out or throws it out really far. So throwing is used in several different sports. We're gonna look at throwing and look at the key elements. So with an overhand throw, not an underhand toss, an overhand throw, there's a few key parts we need to focus on. Step, T, ear, aim, drag. That's the words that we're gonna use to break um, down the key elements of throwing. So here's what I mean by step. Step is stepping with your opposite foot. Opposite means the other one from the one that you're using your hand. So if I'm using this hand to throw the ball, I need to step with the opposite foot. I would step forward with the opposite foot. If you are using this hand, then use the foot on the other side of the body to step forward, step with. That's the most important part is that you're stepping with opposition, it's called. So if I'm gonna use this hand, then I would step with my opposite foot. That's step. The word T means that you T, make your body like a T and turn to the side, the side of where your target is. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Ear means that when you were just in a T, you're gonna bend your arm so it's by your ear, making sure that elbow stays up high. You don't want it down low. This is how preschool throws, like a three-year-old would throw with their elbow in front. So keep that elbow up, back behind you. The next part is aim. So use this front arm to point and aim, or you can kind of use your eye to strike down it or look just right down it, right where you're trying to aim. And the last part, as you're throwing, you're gonna take your hips and twist them back towards your target. You're gonna take your shoulders and twist them back towards your target. And as you do that, you're gonna drag this foot on the ground. If you pick this foot up, you'll lose all of your momentum. So that's why I pointed out the drag part at the end. So let me show you what the key elements look like. If my target is ahead of me here, and you are on my side, so my target is straight ahead of me, I step forward towards my target, then I T, turn my body to the side, and your body should just naturally open. You shouldn't be all twisted. If you're twisted, you're turning the wrong way. So the ball should be in the back, all right? Then the next part is I need to bend my elbow so the ball is by my ear, Use the front hand to aim at my target, so point right at your target where you want it to go. And the last part, as you come, you're gonna turn your shoulders, turn your hips towards your target, and drag the foot on the ground. As you bring it forward, you'll release or let go of it, and then your arm will keep coming through. It's called a follow through. So let me show you without equipment. If my target is over here, step, T, ear, aim, one more time without equipment. Step, T, ear, aim, drag. Now it's your turn to practice with me. Stand up where you are. 
You don't need any equipment, so put anything down that you have, make sure you're standing in a safe zone. Now, I want you to pretend that you have a, a target ahead of you. It could be straight ahead of you or off to the side. I'll do the side target first. Two feet start together. Pretend you have the item in your dominant hand. That's the hand that you write with. Now, step with your opposite foot, your non-dominant, the one on the opposite side. T, turn your body to the side. It should be nice and open like the letter T. Now, bend your arm, put it by your ear so that your elbow stays up high. Aim at your target, wherever your target is, and then turn and twist your hips and shoulders, drag your foot on the ground. As you bring through, let go, and you can keep going with the follow through. Let's do that again together. This time, I'm gonna face you. You're my target. Ball in your dominant hand, feet together. Ready, step, T, ear, aim, drag. Let's do that again together. Pretend you have an item. Remember, we're not really using an item right now. Feet together. Ready, step, T, ear, aim, drag. And you would be able to throw to the target. This time, I want you to repeat after me. Yeah, say it after I say it. Ready, step, T, ear, aim, drag. Let's try that again. Ready, step, T, ear, aim, drag. Make sure you're stepping with the opposite foot and you're dragging your um, leg as you bring your arm around. One more time together, repeat after me. Step, T, ear, aim, drag. Now, I want you to do that three times on your own to practice those key elements, but put them together more of a smooth movement. Try it again. As you practice, it becomes one smooth movement. Instead of going one, two, three, that's to get learning. But after you get the hang of it, incorporating or using those key elements to make it all one smooth movement. Think about the Dallas Cowboys, or even the Texas Rangers, or any baseball or football player that you like. They don't take a ball and go one, and two, and three. No, they get a ball, and then they throw it really good because they make it all together one smooth movement. So make sure to include all of those key elements when you are throwing and practicing this week. Also, I remind you about catching. We learned a little bit last week, but we'll try it over again. The first thing was you need to make eye contact. Second thing is have a target, get your target up. Do you want the ball here? Do you want the ball there? Do you want the ball to come down here? Do you want it right here at your chest? So get a target up. When they throw it and it's coming to you, you have to watch with your eyes and track it. Is it going too high? Is it going too low? Do I need to scoop forward? Do I need to scoop back? So making decisions with your brain when you're tracking the ball, watch it and go to it. And then the last part is soak it up or sponge so it doesn't just hit and fall. We want to absorb or soak up that force. Absorb means to soak. You might hear that in science. So we're going to absorb or sponge to receive the ball and bring it in so it doesn't fall down. Let's look at catching again. Repeat after me. Eye contact, target up, track the ball, sponge. Now it's a little bit easier when someone's actually throwing something to you. And again, that becomes all one smooth movement. If somebody's like, hey, here, catch. You can't think about, okay, eye contact, okay. Then you gotta be ready to go. So when someone says, here, catch and they throw you something, track it, catch it. So it's all one smooth movement. So that's kind of what we're moving towards um, this week, all right? We have a game and an activity for you, and when you are working at home, you're gonna need some type of ball, something round that's safe to use. There's a lot of different things that you could do um, to practice throwing, simply just throwing and catching with someone. Some kind of item, if you don't have a ball at home, like this is just a small little item, it would be safe if it dropped on the ground. I could throw it to someone and they could catch and they can throw it back to me. 
and I could work on catching. So just throwing and catching with someone, either an adult or a sibling or someone grown up at your house. And also we have some ways that you can practice by using some targets. Another way to practice throwing this week is to use targets. You can simply use paper and tape it onto the wall or if you have tape, you can make numbers with just the tape. Or you can put objects on the ground and throw to those items or targets. So we're really just working on some target practice and there's a few different ways to do that. When you are throwing, make sure you're still using your key elements by stepping, turn your body to the side, ear, aim, drag, and you can be able um, to hit the different targets. So if I was gonna play this game, you can see kind of at the top, I have a small one, it's worth 10 points because it's gonna be a lot harder to hit. There's a big one in the middle with one point, a little bit smaller and easier with three points on the side, and then five point, you can see it's a different shape. You can just use regular pieces of paper if you want. Put whatever numbers on them that you want and then try for a few minutes to throw and catch. All right, let's try to throw for me. So when I'm aiming, I wanna aim at the target. If I want the five or the 10 or the one in the middle, or the three, I need a point to where I want to throw. Also, I would spread back um, as further distance to make it more of a challenge. I can also make these spots further out for more of a challenge or move them in if it's a little bit too hard. So let me show you what I mean. With target practice, you point to the one you want to go to and that's where you're going to throw. I'll try to hit the number one right in the middle. So I'm going to face my target, step, T, turn to the side, Bring the ball by my ear, aim at the target, and drag. I got it, so I get a point. Then I would get my ball and try again. When you are starting, face your target. So if I'm gonna hit the five now, I face the target, step towards it, T, ear, aim, drag, and I'm gonna point to the target when I finish. Take a few rounds and see how many you points, how many points that you can get. Also, you could take the same concept, whether it's paper or something else, and lay it out on the ground if you don't have a wall to tape it to. When you get um, them on the ground, you could throw it far and see if you can land on it. Have fun this week working on throwing um, to a target. Step, T, ear, aim, drag. Have a great week.